No, I'm politically active. I, I think it's really important and really serious, especially these days. Yes. I don't like going out and doing political stuff, but I pay attention to politics. Yeah. It matters. I think it really matters. Racial justice, reproductive rights for women, um, rights for women regarding domestic violence and sexual assault, poverty, what's mm -hmm. happening on the border is horrifying. I mean, that's just, uh, that's human yeah. human rights, yeah. uh, all those kinds of things. I mean, it's, um, I'm concerned about all that. Mm -hmm. And when I hear people say, well, I don't really follow politics. Polit I, I mean, you're not, you don't have to follow it exactly, but politics are relevant to absolutely everybody. Mm -hmm. And I, I, sometimes I'm amazed that people don't understand that. <sighs> well, early on, they, we're looking for housing for these vans when they came in. And I thought, yeah, what the hell? We have all this room here. We had bedrooms and beds and space. And so we said, yeah, we'll do that, you know? And, and then we fell in love with the first van they gave us and they became our friends. And of course they wanted to come back here every year. So yeah. is, it was more of just wanting to share my house rather than any love of music, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, but the music was like a nice, Plus, yeah. you know, that I got to, we got to, uh, well, it was like our ticket into that, mm -hmm. into the venue mm -hmm. down, down in Davis Square. Mm -hmm. The band that would stay with us, who were called the Brass Messengers, mm -hmm. um, would practice out in front here, you know, we've got the, that little walkway mm -hmm. there, and th that was like so cool, right? They'd arrive on Friday. And then on Saturday morning, they'd all sit out here and practice. So here's this big brass band practicing in front of our house on a street like this. It was just like, oh, you know, because brass messenger bands can be very um, energizing. Mm -hmm. So that was like, oh, all right. So I think that was what actually drew us down into the festival. And then they, they kind of split up as a band. And we're still in touch with individual members. They were from Minneapolis, mm -hmm. so they, you know, we went, we all went to Minneapolis, not we all, my husband and I decided to go and visit them in Minneapolis, because they kept inviting us, you must come, you must come. The political activism, it's, it's the underlying message, I think. I mean, they're a pretty much a left-wing group of people who believe in progressive values, and, uh, but I, I sense that it's really more about the music for people. I think that's what draws them to it. Um, the music and the wild theatrics. I think people really enjoy the costuming and the carrying on and the thing. I mean, that stuff is pretty impressive, right? So there's a lot of theater involved, the music, clearly. Some of us um, can't really distinguish one band from another. They all sound like brass messengers to me you yeah. know and other people go oh no that band man they are awesome so much better than that band i go mm, i don't know you know mm. but because i'm more into the visuals the theatrics appeal to me uh the activism is important mm. because of where they politically where they all kind of the baseline mm -hmm. yeah. if it were the opposite we wouldn't have a festival i would hope right <laughs>